Hi everyone. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Teresa and we're going to do clusters today and um, hopefully do a couple tags to put in this. And it's gotten way chunkier. <laughs> I have added quite a bit of stuff to it. Um, and so it's it's coming along. I'm hoping to have this finished soon. Um, I'm just flipping through really quick so you guys can take a look. I still have a lot of empty spots in this. But, and I need to make something for that. Um, but I am thoroughly enjoying how this is coming out, I think. I wanted her to be able to have a bunch of writing space. So I probably only put like stickers or something simple on these pages. Um, so, a lot to do, but it's coming. So, I hope y'all are having a good time and a good day. Um, sorry about, I don't even think I posted anything last week. I do not remember. I got really sick with a really bad sinus infection, which I'm just now starting to get my um, energy back up. So we're going to be using um, wrapping paper scraps, which I, so I should got these right. I think I'm only going to do two or three clusters maybe because I really want to get some of these um, big tags done so I can stick them in there. So hopefully you guys are staying healthy and good. Um, I know it could be a challenge right now with the craziness of COVID. Um, where we live, it's been insane. Especially with both, both kids coming down with it. Okay, I like that, but I think it needs a little bit. Oh, so let's get the edges of this. So I just used a um, punch to get this shape. I didn't think it would. I thought I would have thought the wrapping paper would have been too um, thin for it, but apparently not. And then I'm using. So I'm using um, vintage photo oxide and fire brick for these. So. And I want something else on here. Maybe a little bit of. I don't want black though. Let's see, I have, let me grab my bling out. And here we go. This would be good. A little bit of lace. I like that right there. Okay, let's get this inked. Where is my... Okay, I'll just use a paper. I don't really like to... There we go. And I'm going to need... Fabric 
And we'll stuff it so thick, sometimes it just doesn't want to get out. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to do three of these if I can get them off. Oh, those are my fabric scissors. I know I'm weird. I don't, I can't, never can mix my fabric and my paper scissors. Like, I'll use my paper scissors for fabric, but I can never use my fabric for paper. Just Something in, in me won't let me. <laughs> Guess it's all the quilting I've done. I just can't do it. <laughs> all right, there's one of them. That didn't take too long. It's a cute little nativity scene. Let's cut that off. And for this one, I think this would be fun. I think a little, little bow to have bows. Add a little light. Um, okay, let's set that there for right now, for I can think about that. I always have to think about things. <laughs> Sometimes if I'm not 100% sure, I start another piece. I'm just ripping some paper, um, book page, to add. Now this next one, I want to do this cute Santa. Um, so most of these are from... Paper and um, Taylor Me Journals and Shabby Dabby Doo Daw is where most of these come from. And I cannot pronounce the other one. It starts with an A, which isn't a lot of good. <laughs> so um, I will try to remember to mark it in the bottom. If you, um, if I forget, let me know and I'll. Definitely do that. I think this needs some green. Let's see, do I have some? I have some green fabric. Sometimes fabric works good, like lace. Here we go, and I'm thinking maybe adding two, three, or wait, I have some right here. Add some red right here onto the green. Okay, let's set this up. <laughs> While I think about it, and I'm gonna add some red to this which this is like a lot of red i wish i have green um maybe that white will look really good Go I like that. 
So we're going to add this right to this corner. And we're going to glue. Okay, so as much as I don't like lace, it is growing on me. Still would rather use fabric instead of lace, but it is growing. All right, here we go. Whee. Got it all over. I'm going to pull that down a little bit. And um, I wonder how that would look with a black. I don't like that. That's gross. Oh, a white. That actually isn't too bad. All right, let's get this glued on. There we go, I think. Nope, I almost dipped this in the wrong color. Got this a little diluted. It'll stand out a little bit more. There we go. Number two done. Okay, and I, this has grown on me. We are going to get this dark because I would like it in a vintage look to it. Gosh, I need Here we go. get all that lump gunk off. That was kind of, I don't know why this glue does that. So the kids have finally hit their point of being able to go out again. They're both healthy. None of, no one else got sick. They tested me um, just to make sure my sinuses weren't, wasn't the COVID. I knew it was a sinus infection though, because I get them chronically. And um, Uh, it worked out. Now we can go. I'm gonna take my daughter and go have a lunch date, a dinner date tonight. Because she doesn't have dance. We're not um, having the kids go back to dance <laughs> until after the new year. Which works. Alright. So here's the third one. It turned out really cute. I like those. Those are going to look fun in that journal. Okay. We really need to unsqueak this chair. Oh my goodness. So. 
I want to decorate these big. I have everything I want for this. Um, I want to decorate these three. And I have some ideas. I just don't have it. Just don't know for sure. Like, I thought this would be really cute on here with something else. Probably like a lace up here. Um, then I'm going to do a Santa over here with some lace and paper down below. Um, so I just need to, oh gosh, my nose itches. Um, ink these. So it gives it a little bit more definition. Of course, it kind of looks weird. See, I'm supposed to have a white beard, and now it's all different colored. That's okay. So we're going to get this right here. I love these big tags. They'll fit in um, my, the big pockets that I made. So this paper is a collage that I did. Um, I just did what, a master board style, a master board and printed this out. Um, I really like the way it has turned out. Let's see. Yep, that will work. And then we're going to place this right up here. I do not remember where I got this from. Oi. Jeez Louise, I'm like dropping this everywhere. Okay, we're going to put this right over here. Let's set this so I know exactly where. Sometimes I tend to put a little bit too much. Hopefully that will stay. All right. Now I think we need pull tab. I think I want to use fabric. So, oh look, here we go. Perfect. I'm going to need to refill this. It's getting emptied. There we go. One tag done. My hands are getting really sticky. <laughs> there we go. That's cute. Okay, I found what I was wanting. Sorry about that. So, um, and I need to apologize if you hear a lot of bang, bang, bang. That would be my son doing his class. <laughs> so I forgot I wanted to add this cute little sentiment on here. So I'm just going to get this on here with red. I just want it lightly around all the edges. Oh. And 
there we go. Ah, this would be cute. There we go. Okay, now that's done. <laughs> so, I found a few things for this, but I think it needs um, a book page or something like that. And I believe I have, here we go, I have some dictionary page. Let's try that. That looks good. Put this down a little. Okay. Let's see. Like this little special delivery. Maybe if we put this behind. Yeah, that looks a little better. Alright, and I wonder how this would. Not a whole lot of red on this, so but it's glittery, and I don't think that will work for this one. Okay, let's get this with a little bit of red here and there. I don't want it all red, I think just sporadically, and then we're gonna get that there. So this big little plain boy with the toys, this came out of a Bo Bunny um, pad for scrapbooking, which I use a lot of, oh, wrong one, um, scrapbook stuff for doing these. All right. There that is. Oh, I can never find my I need them. There we go. And red. Hey, hey kid. Whew. Sorry about that. That was my kid. Um we're supposed to go to a thing tonight and it starts later than I thought it would. Our um, church is going to do this drive-by gift thing, we miss you type thing for drop it off, which is kind of cool and we're finally not sick. Contagious wise. Makes me so happy we don't have COVID in our house anymore. Oh, that was miserable. Alright. So we're going to get this. Um Oh, upside down. I don't think I want the words upside down. Then again, I don't think it really matters a whole lot, but here we go. So I'm leaving the back just blank for she can use it and write on it. I might add some brown or something or red on there. I don't know yet. Here we go. 
think this little kit is so cute. There we go. And I think we're going to go with some lace. I think we can use half of that though. Here we go. Oh, there goes the noise. My daughter is now playing Animal Crossing. I do not normally, in the past, have not let them play video games <laughs> during school days. <sighs> But uh, I things have changed so much. Um, I let them do that if they have everything done, but they have to do chores for me before they can do it. Okay, there is tag number two done. Now, I have a third, and I want to use this on it. And this 25. I thought it would be really cute somewhere. I don't know if I want it at the top or the bottom. I haven't fully decided if I want this little bell thing. But I do know I want these. I think I'm going to skip on that and pull out a number. I really need to sort through all of this. <laughs> here we go. Oh no, we have those numbers down here. I don't think I really want to add another number. A fun butterfly would be good, but I don't know if I have colored butterflies right now. Let me do a stamp. I think I don't like that one. Oh, what? Sorry, I have like all my stuff scattered in like multiple different areas. <laughs> the same one I think I'm just kind of throwing these out to see what there is okay I think we're gonna do that with we're gonna try to see what we can play with with this but I'm gonna get some really busy so I think it needs something well actually let's see this might work better again this is a uh, dictionary paper like that but this might be fun up here with a little bit of um let's see which red do I like I like this this one better so we are going to cut 
if I can get it cut. There we go. Um, and then I'm just going to use I think a little ruffle might be really cute somewhere. No, I don't like that. You know what? I wonder buttons. I have buttons somewhere that might work. Oh, here we go. That might be fun. Here's a little candy. That might be fun. Let's see. Let's move her up. We need to take this off. So we are going to yeah, now I have no idea where that popped to. That's okay. So I want these closer up to the top. That way they um Um, that way they don't punch out the envelope too big if I decide to use them. But again, <laughs> that button down there sure will do that too. Okay, so I just need to hold these. And I think... I want to emboss this, but I don't have an embossing pen. I got it. I know what I'll do instead. We're going to put some gesso on that. Here we go. We'll just add it. There's not a whole lot of green on this, so I'll help pull out some of the green for Christmas colors. Here we go. And need one more flat, one more. Actually, let's put them over here. Hmm. I do not know. Well, while I think of that, I need a rough brush. Uh, that will work. So I want to give this a little snow effect. So this is just um, gesso. And I'm going to dab. So it's not going to be really 3D type snow. But it will um, work. And then we're going to add some more down here.
so yeah because look it gives it a little bit more white and a little bit more texture from dabbing instead of just brushing it on um so So I don't know if I want those. I have to think about that. So I'm going to work on that down here while I decide on that. And let's get some. I'm just going to. Get that glued down. Move this up a little so you guys are in shot better. up a little I kind of like that off center 25 it looks good Ooh. okay there we go let's get that excess off now I like that and this will look really good with, you know what, let's do this so I get a little bit more divine red around it. I should find my green ink. I know I have it. I just have no idea where it's at. <laughs> I really need to organize all this a little better. You know what, let's rip this a little. And of course, I just ripped off all of what I did. That sounds about right. There we go. I'm really surprised I do not hear my son. <laughs> he must be. There's a recital this weekend, and we opted for the kids not to do it because um, after dealing with all that craziness, we just we really don't want any more chance of going and sitting in a hotel room while they record for hours. Whoa! Oh, there we go. I like that and then put this is not going to be able to go where I wanted it to go <laughs> that's okay this is really cute <laughs> now let's use um, this on here here we go and Yep, that is good and dry. Okay. I really don't want to get over these because I don't want that snow to look red. Okay, so we're going to go right there and I think we might go with these, with these buttons. I kind of like that. Here we go. Yep. 
Here we go. There we go. Okay, that looked really good. I really like that little snowy look. Um, I'm tempted. I wonder how that would look if I add a little bit under her. Yeah, that's okay. Not like the greatest thing ever, but it'll work. All right, so there we go. Three tags and three clusters. Um, and this was way longer than I anticipated. So I hope you guys have a fabulous day and enjoy crafting and stay healthy and safe and I will see y'all on the next adventure. Thanks.